Catholic Daily Mass Readings August 2, 2022 Tuesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord For thus says the Lord the God of Israel Write all the words I have spoken to you in a book For thus says the Lord Incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause, no remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished you cruelly. Why cry out over your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this for you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob, his dwellings I will pity. City shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them now few, but many. They will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His son shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else? Should one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord, you shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come. And let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide and their posterity shall continue in your presence that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side of the sea, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, Command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. 
Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Genezareth. When the men of the place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.